Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday, and you know what that means. Upgrade packs should be coming today in FIFA, right? Sunday is the day where we usually get upgrade packs, whether it's player picks, whether it's 81 plus doubles. Sometimes they release the 83 plus upgrade, and this is also some of the times where we get icon upgrade SBCs. I think we got uh, like the mid or prime player pick the first time possibly was on a Sunday. But I think the biggest thing people are expecting today is the, uh, is the upgrade SBCs and they're really, really hoping for the player picks. A lot of people have been investing um, in common golds and rare golds. I'll take a look at those prices today. I just want to check and see, yes, the mid or prime upgrade and the prime icon upgrade, um, the one time prime as I call it, is those are both expiring, right? I did the Prime, of course, got Vintage, but that is expiring today, which could be replaced by something else. And I also think that since we haven't seen it yet, today would be a perfect day for EA Sports to drop that 86 double upgrade, the 86 plus times two pack that was in the code uh, on Friday morning. But right now, these full birthday cards are getting low, but I want to talk about how these uh, upgrade SBCs that we could expect to see today could impact the market. Now, of course, right now, I do believe if you search gold commons, a lot of these guys are getting bought up. Some people are saying that gold rares are up to about 950. Is that true? I'm pretty sure there are gold rares. Uh, that's not true. A lot of these guys are still discards. So I know a lot of people have been buying up gold rares and gold non rares and bidding and stuff, stocking their clubs for upgrade player picks. But we had more supply today, right? Or yesterday on Saturday is what I meant to say there. We had more lightning rounds and not just a, like, you know, whatever lightning rounds. We had 80,100 K packs. So even more supply for these foot birthday cards, which is making them drop a decent amount more. But as we know, if EA is going to drop upgrade SBCs today, that is going to mean more coins are going to be drained off of this market because people are going to sell cards, sell their weekend league teams as they're doing right now. A lot of cards are down right now with the weekend league sell off. I sold a moment Socrates at 1.54 earlier today, and he's back 1.38 is the lowest I have ever seen this card. That's crazy. So you're still seeing weekend league sell off. You're still seeing some of these prices drop, um, not just the stuff that is in packs, right? Out of pack stuff dropping down as well. Uh, just with people selling their teams uh, from this weekend and this whole promo being based around SBCs um, I feel like there's just so much focus on what this player SBC is going to be now Of course, we had Palacio yesterday. I'll talk about that today A lot of people are expecting either Goodsa, Royce I think those are like the top two that people are expecting from foot 11 today um, If it's Goodsa, of course, that would probably mean a little bit more demand for the um for the Podolski SBC, because both of those guys are in the Turkish league, that'd be a strong link you get between those two. Um, and then, of course, we have the um, the Inter SBC next, and then a center back is our new clue, just a center back from FIFA 13. That has a lot of people thinking about David Luiz, and that would be a very interesting SBC. But again, with upgrade SBCs coming today, let's talk about this team again, because these foot birthday cards, man, away from the market for a few hours tonight and I come back to see these prices and honestly boys I almost I wanted to go all out I wanted to buy a bunch of these cards but I held myself back because yes I do think a few of these could rise into the morning today on Sunday but the supply what I had to remind myself is yes these look insanely cheap for the type and the value of card you're getting a 95 pace striker Huang He Chan this guy was 80k this morning right People are selling their Hollands, their Lewandowskis. The Bundesliga strikers are down because they're buying this card, right? Um, you know, the Zambia card is an insane right back with the links that he gets. A solid looking card too, 100k for that. It's ridiculous. So uh, these cards are looking very cheap, but the supply on these cards is mental. With the saved up packs and now two days of lightning rounds and a lot of lightning round packs, the numbers they've released uh, for lightning rounds is been has been pretty high now i did see today that there was a 100k lightning round i don't know if it was on xbox or playstation that did not sell out right away so you know maybe there is a little bit less hype because the team that is in packs right now is less hyped than um what it was last year for sure so it again seems like ea is really basing this promo around the foot birthday themed sbcs the player sbcs is where they want people to focus because they gave people the 83 times 10 to stock the club with fodder um, and you know, another that 86 plus, whenever that comes out, seems like EA is giving us a lot of packs that we can attain to get fodder in our clubs to do SBC. So, um, that's why it has me worried about these cards. Cause yes, they're really low, but what these cards being really low could do for the rest of the market is, 
you know, you could see some of these other promo teams like the what if cards that yes, these are still live items. You're seeing these guys drop off a decent amount, right? Right. Richarlison 679, Merton 770, Dalvin's 227. You're seeing some of these cards drop down because honestly, what these new promo cards are doing is quote unquote resetting the market because some of these guys like, wow, would I really go pay? 340k for an Mbabu when I can go do the Sven Bender or the Lars Bender SBCs, right? For uh, a very pacey right back. I forget which Bender brother it is. This right back. Um, that's 190k. And now we have the Sabia card that's 100,000 coins as well. And if people are going and doing SBCs and selling their cards, which it seems to be a lot of this stuff is starting to drop off, that is really just telling me that some of these brand new foot birthday cards might be resetting the market a little bit in terms of some of these other out of pack specials, if they don't have that much demand, are gonna drop off a little extra this weekend because people are gonna see how cheap these cards are and maybe go out and try them. So that's one thing to think about. And of course, with the upgrade packs that we are mentioning that could come today, that's gonna take more coins off of this game because when people are doing SBCs, they're going and buying the players to do them. And when they're getting the higher rated picks, right? You get 84s, 85s, 86s from those 81 plus player picks or 81 plus upgrades when they come out. People go bananas for upgrade SBCs anyway, upgrade packs, that's going to make people go and finish SBCs because they're going to have fodder in their club and they can say, yo, I can actually go out and do Palacio for 20, 30,000 coins, right? Huge W. Well, you already invested a lot of coins in buying the rares and buying the non-rares. Now, albeit the 81 plus player picks, if they do come out today, I mean, those are pretty hyped, right? Those are really, really good SBC packs because they seem to just give out mad, right? They give out in mad quantities. So that's something to keep an eye on, of course. Uh, and a lot of people will be hyped if those do come out today, which I think I would expect those today. I really do think that I would expect um, some sort of SBC that is an upgrade pack. I hope it's the player picks because that would be pretty hype. Um, but wow, these foot birthday cards are very cheap um, as it is already on the market. And I think that with those SBCs coming, it could make them get even cheaper. Now also for like an 86 double, right? Let's talk about what that would do. People would go bananas for that pack as well. A double 86 plus pack when you have this promo team that is in packs, which we all have, we also have new man of the matches, right? We've got Chilwell, Inacho, Fernandinho, Redmond, and uh, this guy, I'm going to call him Jeremy Jeff. Uh, you know, so we have other cards in packs as well. They're not that they're not that sick. They're not that insane. But you can see that this um, this market is selling off big time, and there was so much supply again this weekend because look at Neymar, four hundred and nine thousand coins, and Mbappe, five forty four. So cheap for those two players that were in packs. Ronaldo, six hundred thousand coins. That's crazy, right? The icon moments are dropping so much as well because they got supplied a lot this weekend. Everything that was in packs is just going down big time, and the rest of the market's honestly kind of going with it because, um. What? 305? There's no shot. That has to be an undercut. No way, man. This guy was 400k today. I guess it's because of the Palacio, right? What a drop off. 400,000 coins dropping off all the way to 300k. That's a crazy drop off on the Taro. But that just seems to be where this market is headed right now. A lot of stuff is going down and it's going down. And it doesn't seem to want to stop, at least right now, uh, because so many people are just engaged in these SBCs uh, and what's going to be coming out. I also think that part of the reason why you're seeing some of this, the foot birthdays specifically down so much in price uh, is because nobody is buying them up and investing in them too, right? A lot of people who are traders on this game uh, recently have been buying SBC fodder just because they're trying to trade uh, and invest for these SBCs that are coming out. So that is kind of where people's coins are locked up in and they're not focusing on this new team that is out. But I will say icon trading, if you have the balls to do it right now it can be insanely profitable. Again, I bought this Socrates at 1.42, sold it at 157. Uh, I bought this Zidane earlier today for 1.8 flat, sold that at 195. Bought this at 1.2 mil. That was kind of a mistake buy. Still made a little bit there. Um, and then I flipped these. You guys on YouTube may not have seen. I talked about it on stream today. Um, this was a tax loss on Tiago. I got out before he went to 650 where he is now. Uh, but I bought this Vardy at a million coins. I bought this Lucas Moore at 1.3. That was a tax loss too. Uh, and then I bought the Chan and the Sambia for overnights. And those did pretty well. Now already I've got this Sambia that I bought earlier today at 115 uh, and he's down to 100K. I'm probably going to hold off on that one. Just hold it. I bought this Hermosa tonight for 231 because this card is supposedly very, very cracked. And I'm honestly going to be looking at some of these foot birthdays into the day today on, on Sunday 
to potentially flip because I do think a lot of these cards have gotten low. I'm going to take a peek at Icon Moments as well uh, because these guys are going to continue fluctuating and nobody wants to trade with these cards. So that makes it a perfect, perfect place uh, to trade with them yourself, right? Now, the Socrates, look at this, man, 1.38 just sold. Now, there's a couple 145s that are listed overnight, um, but... You can see that sometimes the supply just dries up, especially on some rare cards like this Zidane, the baby Zidane that I traded with today. Sometimes the supply dries up really fast and uh, you can get some insane prices and uh, you can flip it very, very soon. So again, what I'm really looking at right now is some of these really rare for birthdays like Vardy it was a great flip for me yesterday. He does not have a ton of supply. Sané has bounced around in price all weekend. Now, my only issue with Sané is he might be affected in price because of the SBC that would come today. If, if that is Gutsa, if that is Royce, I think Royce would specifically affect this card a little bit more. Now, of course, that would be a strong link to Sané, where I don't know if many people are actually playing this card at center attacking mid, or if they're playing him at striker, um, depending on you know where people are using him. I don't know if he's going to get affected too much by Royce. Now, it looks like a lot of these cards are cammed, and especially center mid. Uh, position changes when people are listing them up that are not fresh versions of of the Sane. So I'm curious to see how that card is affected today. Uh, Tiago, of course, is still very hyped, and it's very interesting to see the supply on these cards. Now I bought Tiago today around at 690k, the one that you saw on my transfer list, because I thought there was a great possibility that this card would be rebounding back up into the high 700s where he was. Um, earlier in the morning on Saturday, that did not happen at all. This guy's back down. He was just 640 on a couple undercuts, uh, and I thought that was a bit too low. I could see this getting back up to 700K. Again, the, the reason, I know it's pretty risky with some of these, but the reason I find and choose some of these cards that I feel like are pretty rare is you just look at the supply, right? Only two pages of supply on Tiago to over like 720K, 717,000 coins. You know, if I'm buying down here at 650, then I can probably expect overnight for some people to wake up on Sunday and say, hey, yo, I'm going to try out this Tiago card, one of the most popular cards in this promotion, and maybe this card rises up. So if I can find one of these at 640, maybe 650, I might pull the trigger and try to get a sale overnight. Same thing with like Vardy at a million coins, Sané at about 1.1. Um, Hermoso, for real, this guy is probably the most steady out of every single full birthday card that is out there in this team. Um, this is probably the most steady one. He's down at 238 right now, and you can see that he's, you know, he's got a decent amount of supply at 240, um, but a lot of people were trying this card out. He has pretty good links. So if I saw like maybe two, I bought one at 231, but if I could see 220s for this, then I would get very interested because a lot of people are trying him out. He's got a lot of hype um, on that card right there. Now, I want to look at this Huan He Chan as well because seriously, if you look at special cards for Holland and for Lewandowski, especially the lower rated ones, this guy is literally causing them to drop. Like, let me show you right now what is going on with Holland's uh, Champions League Team of the Tournament card, Team of the Group Stage, as we call it. Uh, this guy was down at 130K today. He's back up to 160. Um, but this card has dropped off a ton since Friday. Take a look at this. He was 180 on, oh, on Friday. And he's been dropping down. He was 130 earlier today as people were trying out Chan. He's about 160 right now. But why would you use this card, 88 pace, 92 shot with a three-star, three-star, when you can go out and buy this card for your Bundesliga team with the 95 pace and that five-star weak foot uh, and way better agility and balance? So I think that's what's kind of going on. This guy is actually, you know, from what I've heard, an absolute menace on the pitch. He's an absolute beast. So I think that's why you're seeing some of the strikers. Uh, especially on the cheaper range of things, go down a bit. So, you know, I bought this last night for 70K and I sold it uh, for 80 uh, in the morning on Saturday. If I can see this at like 55K, if I could snag a quick snipe on a Huan He Chan, um, you know, I feel like I might be able to get upwards of like almost 65 to 70K. Let's check the supply to 69,000 coins. Now, this is definitely glitched. Um, you know, let's see how many we see here to 79. There's two cards that would be in that price range. You know, it looks like he's got a decent amount of listings. Of course, he's one of the lowest rated ones, so he's going to have a lot of supply. But that also means that basically everybody can afford him, and he has a lot of demand there too. So maybe if I find this card at like 55K, I'll be able to flip him up to like 65,000 coins into the morning this morning on Sunday. So that might be my buy price for Chan if I do see him there. Um, now, of course, the rest of this team just looks so, so cheap as well. It's insane. Um, but I think... The thing that is really scaring me, and I'll show you one card right now that has insane amounts of supply, 
is this Inaki, right? The thing that is scaring me about this entire promo team is the supply, right? Take a look at this Inaki Williams, right? His cheapest is at 401. We go to 430,000 coins. This is an incorrect glitch listing because I just searched them earlier and there were there were six pages from 400 to 430. So right now the market's glitching out on me, but um, some of these, there we go. Now we're not, we're not glitching anymore. Look at this, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so he's got five pages to 430K. That's only 30,000 coins up. So if I was looking to overnight flip this card, I know he's got a lot of hype, but I feel like that a lot of these foot birthdays just have a ton, a ton of supply. And again, with the upgrade packs coming today, probably draining more coins off the market, another foot player SBC, birthday player SBC uh, coming today as well. I just worry a little bit about these cards potentially dropping lower because those SBCs are gonna drain so much from this game. Now let's talk about SBC fodder for a second because of course, with more supply today, um, some of the fodder did drop a decent amount. You still have 83s that are pretty cheap. Actually, if you look at the popular players on Footbin, and you do a little bit of a refresh here and you look at these prices, some of the SBCs that are out, um, like Palacios, 202K. He was like 220 earlier. He's dropped down. Uh, Podolski, I think, is 180. He was about 190K earlier, maybe 200K off the rip. Uh, so fodder has dropped there a decent amount. I think if you take a look at Player of the Month Messi, he's 1.7 mil, which is one of the cheapest price amounts for his SBC that he has been during this promo and Bappe is 1.9. So that is down a decent amount too. Uh, so fodder is fodder is kind of low, right? It's, it's not really low, but it is, it's low enough to be interesting, right? Some of the higher rated stuff dropped today. Neuer, who was, you know, 62 K on lightning rounds. We talked about it in yesterday's video. He was 62 K. He got invested in, right? I still feel like there's a lot of people right now that are holding on to fodder and fodder didn't really drop much today, which makes me still think that people are buying it up and they're waiting for a big time SBC. Um, but right now the SBCs that we're getting two days in a row, SBCs are right around 200,000 coins, which seems to be probably the sweet spot for like a lot of these foot birthday player SBCs. Now, some of them might be a bit more expensive. Like if it is Gutza or if it is Royce today, maybe they'll make it a bit more expensive. Um, but if it is an insane card, you know, right now Bundesliga and German links are hot, right? Because you've got the Bender Bros. You saw how much like Team of the Year Kimmich, other Kimmich specials, Goretzka, um, and some other like new house future stars. A lot of the German links are popping right now because of the Bender Bros and the Balak and you know stuff like that that we've had come out. So I think that it, depending on who this is today, the EA could overprice it a little bit and get more people to do it because those links are just hot right now. Now, I wanna talk about Palacio for a second too because uh, this card for my team would actually fit tremendously in the squad because what I would do is I would place Palacio here at right cam and then I would run either Ronaldo or Elsha at striker in my team, uh, which would be massive, right? So I'm considering doing that Palacio because the five star skill, he's got the rat tail in game, right? Kind of has like the Baggio rat tail, which is pretty funny, pretty dope. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so I'm kind of considering doing that because I have some fodder in the club, but also I'm waiting to see the Podolski slash whoever the the German cam is today, because if it is Royce, even even Gutza, I could get a nice link between uh, Podolski and Gutza, and then get a nice little extra link here to the team of the year Kimmich that I have as my CDM. So that's kind of the space where I am right now with things on the market and in terms of what SBCs I might do for my club. But this is, even though the market is fluctuating greatly and there's, you know, sometimes it's really easy to lose coins in a market like this because there's a lot of fluctuation. Like we just saw this Socrates go down to one four to one three eight. Uh, there's a lot of fluctuation and there's not as many buyers, especially today on Sunday. It might be harder to flip some cards like this because there could be less buyers. But um, also, you know, people still have coins from opening up packs. So it's really just going to come down to um, if people want to spend a little bit of coins today, will they go out and buy some of these cards? I still feel like you're going to see a pretty heavy week and sell off because most people are going to be focused on the SBCs as a part of this promo. So that's my one worry about what is going on with the market right now is that it's such an SBC based promo that wow, 122 for Lucas is really, really low. How much do we have to 1.3 mil, right? Five star skills, Brazilian um, in the prem. We've got one page and a couple overnights to 1.3 mil. So 
that's a card I'm going to keep an eye on. If I see this get too much lower than 1.2, you know, I might be able to flip that in the morning. So it's risky business trying to flip some of these cards, but also it can be very profitable. Um, you know, if, if you're somebody on the market right now, just like, I'm not sure what to do. Watch the out of pack special cards today. 100%, especially those German links, because what you just saw with all the German cards this weekend, like that new house, uh, special card that went flying, he's up to 190 K he was down at 150, you know, because the Bender bros and the German links that are hot right now. Keep an eye on some of this stuff that really exploded. Like, wow, this Holland is 550. That's nuts, man. That's so low. But like if this Goretzka is down today or one of his informs uh, or, you know, one of the Kimmich cards as well, whether that's team of the year Kimmich or any of the cards that really exploded this weekend, whether it was due to rarity, whether it was due to links uh, or something like that. Even some of these cards like Casemiro is down a bunch because of Hermoso. Um, you know, this Goosen's card could be an interesting watch because the German links again, but in a different league. So I would just say really watch the out of pack special market because I do think there's going to be some sell off in these areas and fluctuations that you will be able to take advantage of. Because just like we saw, like what I was mentioning with the Socrates card, right? You have hours where panic selling and these cards get really low or like this Zidane. There was an hour this morning where this guy was sitting at one nine when I was trying to sell mine at one nine five. And he didn't sell that hour, but those listings dried up. I relisted mine at 195 and then boom, this one sold. So it's all about rarity. And sometimes you can catch a fluctuation on some of the rare cards like icons, out of pack specials. Um, and also a lot of people have coins now. So they're going out and they're trying cards and they're going to have coins to do SBC. So that's the, the one thing that I'm interested in today is, and I think I didn't finish talking about this point earlier, is if EA Sports release that 86 plus double pack, that's going to make some fodder go up because that is going to require probably some informs, maybe like an 84 rated squad and a team of the week. That's not going to be a cheap SBC. And I think that could cause some of the fodder market to go up. Some people to sell some cards to go do that pack. And uh, that could be a, a market impactor today as well. We'll be live on Twitch today, hopefully around the content drop to kind of talk this, about this and stuff like that. Hopefully you guys with the time change are adjusting well. We went through it here in my area. Uh, you know, a couple weeks ago. So the content drop has been an hour later for me. It's been 2 p.m. Eastern every day for the past like two weeks instead of 1 p.m. So now that's back to 1 p.m. after the time change. So hopefully you guys are doing well with that uh, because I think that happened either tonight or like last night whenever you're watching this video. But that's kind of how I'm feeling with the market right now. These upgrade SBCs, if they drop today, could be a potential big time market mover. I'm very curious to see what EA does with those and what we get for content, whether it's Gutsa, whether it's Royce, or somebody else that we're not expecting. But that's the video for today, boys. If you do have any questions, drop them down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe if you're new. Again, thank you for all the support. Uh, almost to, We're like halfway to 31K after just hitting 30K. So appreciate all the support in the videos, boys, and on the Twitch channel down below. And of course, a couple days left on the G Fuel code, 30% off this weekend. Make sure you check that out in the description as well. It's been Nate Devote Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out. Keep, keep.